Well, welcome to this quick demonstration of Survey Maker by Superla. And we'll start off by just going into the All Surveys list and adding a new survey. Uh, we give it a name and we click the little tick at the top of the settings panel there. Once we've done that, we can go into design mode to start building up our form. Now with Survey Maker, the main uh, field that you, uh, you'll be using is choice fields. Um, so we concentrate on those to start with. And with those, uh, you simply enter the label for a question and then set up your answers afterwards. And they work just like checkboxes under Windows. So we enter our label and click the tick. And then on our answers, we again change the label, click the tick. And uh, let's do the second answer. Now we can have as many answers as we like, and to create a new answer, we click that little add button at the top there. And um, then for this one, we'll make this one slightly different in that we'll make this an other selection and we'll allow an input of text. So it's that input entry field that you need to set to optional. And then it will create a text box for you uh, to add text. Now we can clone that question to save us setting it all up again if we had a similar question. Um, so, if we were going to ask, ask the question, how did you get here yesterday, well, it's, it's quite easy to set up a clone of that first question and it'll, it'll work just like an independent question. Now, we can set the section, this page, to have as many, uh, well, up to five columns. So, it works probably best with this example with three columns, and if I go back and run the survey, then I can see how it'll look to the user, and yeah, that looks quite nice with uh, with three columns. But you can change that to, to meet your needs. You can have between one column and, uh, and five. And let's drag on a picker. Pickers are also good for surveys as well. Um, this is a, an iOS control. And we can, again, we, we set the label for this, uh, for this question. And to create our list of possible answers, we use the placeholder field and just have a comma separated list. So we just put in a list of three possibles in this case, but we can have many more if we want. Uh, cheap, moderate and expensive. And we can also set what the default value is. So let's say the default value is moderate and you can see that it's created a, a standard iPad uh, control there with a label and a picker. And this is a segmented control and a segmented control is good for servers as well and it's good if you just got a, a very short list of possible items to pick from. Um, and again let's just set the label to to something. Uh, in this case we're just going to find out whether this mode of transport was uh, quick or not. And again the placeholder is used, comma separated list, slow, medium, fast. And let's have a look at that. Yeah that looks okay doesn't it? But let's um let's make the default value the middle one and just do that by having the same text as, as one of the values, in this case medium. And that looks fine. And just to make it a little bit easier to for the user to see how to enter the data, to say they're done, let's let's create a button especially for that purpose. And we'll call the button done. And we'll just put the action to submit. A submit is just means that it the user's finished, that's the end of their entry, and off it goes. Now to make it look a little bit nicer, we can create line breaks between each of these uh, controls at the end, these fields at the end. And the line break just forces it to throw a line and go on to the next line and that's quite nice for, 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 for multi-column forms um, where you have a question like a on it with a picker or a segmented control that that'll look better if it spreads across the whole of the page rather than into individual columns so it spans the whole of the columns now you can get into difficulty with this so don't use them uh, to start with get used to the the rest of the uh, features first but it's it's quite a handy way of um, making the form look a bit nicer and we can hide the labels on those on that picker and segmented control as well to make it a little, look a little bit neater as well because we don't really need labels on those. So when we run the survey this is what the user will see when you hand them uh, the iPad and that's that little run button there that causes it to go into that mode and so a user can go in and select various values and then click the done when they're done and again, set some values. 
and then again just go in create a bunch of values and you hear a little whooshing sound that happens at the end there as well just to confirm that something's actually happened and then let's set some other values here so we'll, we'll set uh, train for the first one and plane for the second one and off we go right now then that's some data entered now let's go and have a look at the results uh, the results only becomes highly only becomes selectable when you've got some data to show and here's the, the pie charts that have been created um, based on the data that was entered and then we've also got some some percentages in there as well just a number of spot respondents and we can email that uh, or get details and um, you can see the details of each of the responses as well and that's that's quite handy when it comes to the other fields because you want to see what people entered in the other um, the other fields like in that, that case train and plane and we can email this off to ourselves as well and that can hold the that will hold the data like the CSV and text data as well so again if we go and let's go and have a look at that one results and you can see that that's changing as we're entering new uh, new surveys so let's capture just one more um, car car slow and uh, off we go there we go and there you can see it's changed the uh, the first pie chart there so that's all about all, all there is uh, to survey maker so it's a, it's a way of uh, creating simple surveys and entering data quickly and seeing pie charts